Hey, Clint with 50 Campfires here with the Hitchfire Grill. This is a product that I've been having a lot of fun with the last couple weeks. Hitchfire did send us one of these for review, so it's my goal today to kind of go over all the features, give you my impressions of it, and help you decide if it's the right product for you. Now, before we talk about the grill itself, let's first talk about the thing that makes it incredibly unique, and that, of course, is this swinger arm attachment and the fact that it is attached to the hitch of your vehicle. It attaches to any standard two inch hitch and you have a lot of options here for how you want to situate this thing. We have, um, we have a little latch here and then we have a pin on the back of this joint. So we open this pin up and it's very easy to get right around to here. Now it will lock in this position right here. If I wanted to keep going with that, it will lock, there we go, right there as well. What I love about that is that I still have plenty of room to open this all the way. I probably still have maybe a foot or so between the grill and the backside. So that's fantastic. A lot of different options for where you want to situate the grill to get back around. Of course, we're just going to pop this little pin, make sure that is still open and then, and then it latches. And then like I said, you can grill here or you're ready to take off. Very cool feature. The other thing that's nice about having the grill outside all the time, two things that I really like about this. Number one, you're not bringing any of that grill smell back into the car. So if you spend the afternoon making burgers and dogs or whatever you're doing, you're not kind of tearing it down, putting it in the back and then stinking up the car. And also there of course would be with a lot of grills that I've used, there's kind of the rattling and stuff going on. But even, I think what I like even more than that is the fact that it's always ready to go. I've been having so much fun with that, cruising around with my friends and family, is that it's basically the same thing as if you're in your backyard and you're like, I wanna make a burger, and you just walk outside, grill's ready to go, you're immediately grilling. That's really fun about this setup as well, is that if you're on a road trip or you're just out for the weekend or whatever it is that you're doing, and start to get hungry, hop on the map, oh, there's a little park up here, whatever, pull over and everyone hops out and you're immediately cooking. That feature of it is really nice. So very convenient, very practical. So let's go ahead and talk about the grill itself. The entire setup here with the swing arm on the bottom weighs 70 pounds. It's powered by two 16 ounce propane tanks on the side. We have 355 square inches inside of grilling space. One thing that I thought was really slick about the way that they designed this, and move this a little bit this way so you guys can see, is that the trays just fold up right inside of the grill and it works really, really well. It was, it's really nice to have that extra space for your condiments, for your beer, whatever you, whatever you have. There is a drip tray in the back side of this that also works really really well because it's kind of slanted in the bottom of the grill and so this guy just slides out in the back here very easy to clean and that clips right in here so that never went we had no problems with that when we were traveling or anything like that incredibly sturdy design that's that's uh one thing i have to say that i thought was very impressive is the build quality uh, of the hitchfire grill it's rock solid. I mean, it's, it's very well done. The, the swinger arm here is heavy duty. I didn't know what to expect when we kind of started traveling around. We were on some back dirt roads that we were going through mud. On another day, it was pretty dusty. And uh, we, we had no problems, no problems at all. Inside of this stayed completely clean, no matter how dusty it was or no matter how muddy it got. So the quality of it, very impressive. Now, in closing, uh, there isn't really anything that I didn't like about using the Hitchfire Grill. I had a really positive experience with it. Um, I thought it was great. I think something that you would want to consider is, you know, this is, this is for the kind of weekend adventure. You're kind of getting out a lot and you're getting out into the middle of nowhere and it makes it really easy and fun to, to whip up lunch or dinner or wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, is that if a lot of, a lot of those people also um, have a bike rack that they have on the hitch or they have a boat that they're pulling, 
And if you're in that kind of situation, um, you're going to want to get a hitch expander. And they talk about that on the website, uh, that it is possible to have a, um, a bike rack and the grill on here. I didn't use it that way myself. I think if that was the situation that you were in, and this is a grill that you're thinking, mm, that thing's pretty interesting. I think I kind of want to check it out. I think you should just get a hold of the company and say, here's my setup, you know, maybe send them the measurements. Here's what the distance is to my boat. Here's the, here are the, here's the distance for the bike rack that I'm using, things like that. And ask them if, uh, if they think that it would work out well with a hitch expander. So uh, other, than, other than that, the thing is so much fun. Like I said, like I was saying earlier, the fact that it's kind of just always ready to go is, it's a blast. Like I said, pull over anywhere. And uh, the igniters worked flawlessly. We had no problems with that. Um, and it's just, it's just fun to whip up lunch anywhere, uh, anytime. So if you are out and about a lot on the weekends, uh, it's something you might want to take a look at. It would add a lot to uh, just kind of the, to the entire weekend. That's the Hitchfire Grill.